Hey guys, True Knight here. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm trying to do this with a straight face. Um, so I felt the need to make this video just because I wanted to talk about things that transpired after YCS Indy. Um, sorry if I'm not looking at the camera the whole time. I am putting together my deck profile for Lorcana and my deck profile for Pokemon. So. Um, I just wanted to do that while I sit and talk with you guys and bring up something that I've been hearing, like the player base, uh, genuinely calling for the past, like, I don't know, eight hours now. Um, well, all weekend, really, but more so now. So, um, so general consensus has been that, um, I mean, we all know it. Like, Snake Eye is insane. Right. Um, it's the best deck. So, um, <clears throat> what a lot of the player base has been saying is just a whole bunch of the sameness. Um, hey, we want... Uh, we want Snake Eye hit. <clears throat> and... I wanted to talk about that tonight, along with what I've been seeing as the call for the ban list, as you can see on my screen. Um, a lot of the things that I've been seeing players just say, this is what I want hit, and in what way. So, let's jump right into it. Um, here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> I've been mapping out in my head how I want to go over this, just to be honest with you guys. Um, so, logic, right? Um, logic says that when you do a ban list, aka what Konami did back in April, on April 13th, for April 13th, I can't remember, um, April 13th, Konami did a ban list, correct? And on that ban list, they hit the end board was their logic to hit Snake Eye, because what is what is Konami about here? And be real. Don't don't say, oh, I got a friend that works there, because this is, this is literally some of the excuses I've heard, is that a lot of people say, oh, I got a friend that works in the office, and they don't they don't judge their ban list at all off of, off of money, they just want to try and um, let players play archetypes and hit the generic things. Bullshit. Um, bullshit unless Konami comes out and says it. And at that point, we don't, I, there's no faith that Konami is going to increase his communication to the player base anytime soon. Or ever, for that matter. Um, so, April, Konami hit Savage and Bear. And that was its hit to Snake Eyes. Um, little did they know, they kind of fucked, like, everything <laughs> with that hit. Um, they made a splash. They wanted to make a splash. And they did what they wanted. Um, sadly, I don't think they did what they wanted completely. I think it kind of backfired on them. Um, but, I'll get into it. Uh, logic, right? So, Konami, you did a ban list in April, and um, your hopes were to deter the end board of uh, Snake Eye. And your hopes were to um, make it so that you could uh, keep Snake Eye around in full power and continue making money off of Diabell Star and all that craziness, right? Um, that was your goal. And you succeeded. Um, people continue to buy Bonfires and Snake Eye and, uh, Diablo Sars and bullshit. Um, however, in my opinion, and I'm just a little humble YouTuber without even 200 subscribers, um, you kind of ruined your fucking game. Um, and it's not just the barren hit. <laughs> it's the fact that you just left Snake Eyes to all its insaneness. Um, so getting back to logic, right? 
So in a logical situation, you do a ban list, and this is me and you talking. Let's say that you're the owner of Konami, and you did a ban list, and your goal was to hit the deck to a point where players will not bitch and moan and complain, and you can just say, hey, we we hit the end board, so now Snake Eyes is beatable. And then we went into a new format, and the Degenerate Pile and Tempi came out. And <clears throat> Voiceless Voice found its feet. Uh, branded and Gimmick Pop are no longer, are still a thing. I mean, uh, Fenrir is running around. Um, pretty much every damn staple is out there. Like, And Nib is your best, best hand trick, right? So over the past month, because you went silent in North America for a month, after you did the ban, so you did the ban list, you did a YCS a week later, uh, nobody gave a fuck, it was still Snake Eye, and after seeing that data of your ban list hit, and then a, literally a week later, the player base did not give a fuck, and that deck that is the issue still topped and won, you gave it a month of silence. You went quiet for a month in North America, and the player base went quiet and played in locals, and all the Snake Eye players got to sit there for a month and let it stir, and cook up, and keep going. Um, Tenpai players jumped in, and like you can tell that a lot of them have no idea what the fuck they're doing. Um, Brandon players kept gimmick pumping. Um, Voice's voice was the new sword soul and just went into its negate, occasionally topping, sometimes winning. Uh, and Fenrir and Cash Terror, Unicorn, and all that shit just kept going. So that's what happened. And then this weekend happens. And what do we see in our top 32? 21. Snake Eye decks. That's what we saw. Um, and then, uh, I don't even know because I stopped paying attention to Top 32. After I saw the breakdown, I just literally checked out. Um, I just couldn't stomach the fact that I was going to watch Top 32 of Snake Eye. So. I checked out, went and hung out with the family, did all that stuff, uh, went and picked up Lorcana stuff, picked up a, a pretty sick Charizard EX deck on TCG Player, put that all together, ordered the watch hockey, <laughs> and went about my day. Um, but, from what I heard, Snake Eyes won it. Um, so, now what would logic dictate? Logic would dictate that a company, or you, after hearing that, okay, I made a hit to a deck, my thing was to make it so it's not so unbeatable, um, a week later, it was still the best deck, by far, and then a month later, it's even more the best deck, and out of 32 of my top players at a tournament, 21 of them are playing that deck. Um... So in my personal belief, logic would dictate, oh shit, we didn't do enough, we need to redo this ban list. I know it's not normal, I know we usually like to fuck our player base and just do it like whenever we feel like three or four months down the road, but in my opinion, logic would just say, we need to re-hit that shit, because that's not okay. But this is Konami we're talking about here, so logic just kind of goes out the window because Konami's only talking about money. Um, Konami could give a fuck less about what we're experiencing as players because, and this is such a broader thing, look at Worlds. They don't want you there. You're not wanted. Um, and I don't even hate saying that, and I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it or anything. Like Konami does not want us. They don't want the player base there. Um, they want their little yes ma'am and yes sirs there that'll choke on their dick and be nice to them. Um, they... I look at Konami as a little kid in the corner who talks a lot of shit, but if somebody were to bite back, 
will cry themselves asleep. That's what Konami is. And so, people like you and me, people who speak out, people who are getting fed up and everything like that, we're not welcome. We're not invited. Um, you have to win, and <laughs> you have to be the winner of a YCS or something like that, or get your nationals, and you have to win your nationals to get invited to Worlds, which I'm sure you will have a conversation with Konami before going to that Worlds event, where you are going to sit up straight, shut your mouth, play your cards, and go home. That's what they're going to tell you. Um, and anyone who tells me, no, it's not like that at all, you're a fucking liar, and I don't believe you for a second. As a matter of fact, I have more strong opinions about these, like, dick riders more and more now, because how you continue to ride the dick of this bullshit is beyond me. And you're fake. You're fake. So, um, anyway, here's my thing. Logic would dictate that a ban list would need to happen, because you want to make the game enjoyable for the player base, right? Um, and that's not going to happen. At least my prediction is there is no ban list coming. Their plan is to release Infinite Forbidden, and we are going to have at Nationals events, um, I don't even think you're going to see anything besides Fiend Smith Snake Eye, because that's all there is that's going to be playable. Um, pure, pure Fiend Smith or Fiend Smith Snake Eye is what we're going to see at every Nationals event. Um, there will be no nuance, there will be no shining sarcophagus, there will be no branded, there will be no... People at that level are not going to waste their time, they're going to play the best thing. So, people are giving me pissy comments and everything, like, why are you playing Lorcana? why are you playing Pokemon, why are you doing that? Well, to be frank, I have no intentions of sitting and watching a two-day tournament of Summon Ash, Summon Fiendsmith, go. I have no intention of what, and I'm not going to. Um, so, yeah. Um, the community, which I'm just speaking for what I see on social media, in both Twitter, on uh, the Zodiac Facebook page, on YouTube, on... Facebook pages, on my local groups, um, in the Twitch chat, and just all around is people are saying there needs to be an emergency ban list. This is insane. How do you explain this? This is, this is not fun. <laughs> and it's not even the, uh, non-Snake Eye players anymore. It's the Snake Eye players, too. So when the players who are winning with that deck themselves are saying, this shit needs to be hit now, um, that shit needs to be hit now. And you got bigger names coming up and saying too, and you got guys like MBT saying this is much more than a bigger issue than a ban list, like it's card creativity. Like, cards cannot exist like this, or this game is just gonna be too insane. And I agree. I wholeheartedly agree like the game is getting nuts and it's getting out of control and uh i don't know i'm just i'm not here for it you know uh i told my buddies and everything that like sorry i've lost interest in top like people were talking about it on my team and i'm just like they're just like hey man are you watching blah, 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 this is going on. i was like sorry dude i tuned it out like six hours ago i haven't paid attention um, I watched a few rounds, the, the round where the imperm thing happened, like, you literally have no judges even paying attention, like, is that what you're trying to tell me? Um, like, as a company, you should be embarrassed, because that's pathetic, like, that's just grimy bullshit, you know? Um, so that's like that, and that's, that's criticism towards a judge, not Konami. My criticism is towards those judges. Like, what the fuck are you doing? The fuck are you doing? Like, you fucking idiot. Pay attention to the game. You're a fucking judge. Watch the game. If you're judging the game, you're watching that. What the fuck are you doing? Like, 
So it, it's just kind of fucking weird, you know? Um, and then uh, you get shit like... Um, I can't remember what we saw. It was like... It was Tempai matches where the branded players playing Tempai. And the announcers are just sitting to themselves like, Oh, he doesn't know what it does. He doesn't know what it does. Why are you going to that big of a tournament if you don't know what Tempai does? Like, what what are you doing? Why are you wasting your time? If you want to go for the experience, great. But don't request to be on a feature match where everyone's going to watch you. Like, that's, a, that's another like criticism that it brings up what are these feature matches i want feature matches where the players are engaged the judges are engaged and it looks like they give a fuck like i don't want to watch a big event like that for the card game that i invested in and watch shit like that happen i, I could go watch that at locals for free I mean, why am i wasting my time watching it on twitch shit dude you know um so it's just there's a whole cumulative things like i don't think konami realizes how big of a loss in like time waste this weekend was as a whole like this was just this was just not worth it you know this was just this was kind of stupid <laughs> you know like the more and more i look at it um, and I watched a couple of streamers, the crush cards, uh, and I feel like Logan is kind of like my soul animal because she gets it and I'm right there with her. Like when I'm watching this shit and I'm reading the room and I'm seeing what's going on, like I look at it so much more than just like, oh, they missed that play bummer. I'm just in there like, this is a sanctioned event with multiple thousands of players your one job is to sit on that fucking chair, judge, and watch the game, and you can't even fucking do that? Like, I don't know, man. It's kind of just a time-wasting BS at that point, you know? And so, <clears throat> my interest meter just low, slowly, like, decreased the more and more we go as this tournament went on. Um, which brings me to the ban list discussion. So I, w I was going to bring up a whole bunch of screenshots for what people were saying and all those things and bring it to your attention and all this and all that. But like, I just, I don't know. You guys are on social media too. And if you don't want to take the time to go and read that yourselves and you want to live in your own little universe, do you? But, um... The general kick I'm getting out is what you see in front of you are the cards and everything that I've been seeing being brought up on social media and various other platforms of people just saying this is what should happen in this form, one way or another. Excuse me. You one Mountain Dew a week. <laughs> Dad life. Anyway. Um, so, a lot of this consensus of what I've been reading is pissed off, pissed off, pissed off, uh, fucking hit Promethean, Ash needs to go, gimmick popping is a joke, I can't believe they actually played that on stream, um, I hear, like, Holy crap, just give this the tier element treatment. Um, put Poplar, Ash, Flameberg all to one. Ban Promethean and make them figure out a way from there. Do what they did to the tier element. Um, my opinion, I don't think... And I'm going to probably piss off a group of people, which you always do, but I, I don't think fuck. Um... <laughs> like, this shit is nowhere near as powerful as Tyr. So I don't think that they need that much treatment, but um, I get what you're saying. So, um, anyway, what 
I also see is Tempa is degenerate and it needs to go and this deck shouldn't even have been created. Um, this deck has no business in this game. Like, my my retort to that is you know what you're talking about here, right? You know you're talking about Konami. Like, they do off-the-wall dumb shit like this. Like, you have a bunch of potheads in a room, and they're on some kind of drug, and deciding on what to make cards, this is what you get, is Tempai. And they think that they've explored the minds and created this nuance that everybody's going to love, and when you're sober and you read this shit, you're just kind of like, I don't know what the fuck drug you were on at that time, but that's bull this is bullshit. So, um... Now, <clears throat> another thing to raise your concern to is that um, people think that skill drain should be getting the treatment that um, gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Summon the mega, and they should ban it. Um, I'm here for it. Uh, if you're new, if your fear thing what well, has been the past couple of lists that you're getting rid of. Uh, that bullshit, then get rid of that bullshit. Um, more cards that I'm seeing being brought to my attention are Fenrir doesn't need to be in the game, and um, Wanted to 1, uh, if we're going to hit everything else, we need to hit low. Uh, just like all kinds of just people are just... What's funny is that it turned more into let's talk about the ban list rather than let's talk about the YCs. And what I did check in for were those conversations. I noticed as soon as I checked out a top cut, nobody gave a fuck about top cut. Everybody was only talking about what needs to go and how we can fix this game. And I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but I'm a realist and I understand this. Um, they're they're not gonna do anything, guys. And I don't I don't mean to piss you off. I know that some of you, this game is sacred, and you care only for this game, and that's it. Um, but, yeah, there's not going to be any, like, legitimate hits to right now's meta. They want this. This is what they... They created this and made this format because they want this. And I hear a lot, too, is that... I hear a lot, is that, uh... Oh, well, it's not... It's not this way in the OCG, so why are they bitching and moaning? Blah, 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 ha, 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 you guys are pathetic. You guys, you guys have no business even talking. Like, it's not this bad. The OCG will teach you how to play. You have Max C, you fucking dolts. You stupid motherfuckers. Who's the fucking idiot now? Max C runs Yu Gi Oh over there. Get rid of Max C, and you all are gonna cry and bitch and moan for years. Like, don't come at us with that stupid shit. You fucking dogs. Like, get out of here with that. But what I will tell you is that, yes, the OCG has learned to tame it through Maxi. You ain't gonna do the shit where we were watching this weekend with Snake Eye under Maxi. I mean, you, you're an idiot. Like, most of the Snake Eye players right now, you're fucking... You're turning into branded players, in my opinion. Like, you're weird. But, like... Even the idiots playing Snake Eyes right now, you wouldn't be stupid enough to play under Maxi. So, OCG, shut your fucking mouths. Know your place. This conversation has nothing to do with you. You would play a different game. <laughs> like, that's why the world's format, too, is also always fucked. Because we're playing two different games. Like, and if you can't see that, what the fuck rock are you living under? Like, stop being idiots. Please, use what little brain cells you have. Like, I look at you people the way I look at Konami. Like, your children in a corner. I, I know in my current profession, I have a job interview tomorrow, thankfully, and I'm hoping that I will be able to get away from my company and get to this new company. 20k raise, different days off, have weekends finally again and be able to do other stuff, have a hobby, but, like, you guys, 
I feel like I have to talk to you sometimes like my four-year-old. Because that's the level of, like, intelligence you show me. And it's hilarious, you know? And this is Konami we're talking about here. And then the player base. Because there's a side of the player base that gets it and is just like, this is not right. And then there's the other players, that, like, the other side of it that's just like, oh, just be better. You're just a fucking idiot because, cause, cause, you know, you want something. Oh, you're fucking weak. No, you're just a fucking idiot. You're just fucking stupid. Like, go back to your mom's basement. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Nobody's gonna care about you. Ever. Just go, go stay off there. You know, just, please. Don't forget to shower, because we all know you don't. But, like, come on, man. Like, I hate to rag on people like this, but, like, it feels like there's a, a scaled, like, tipping point right now. There's one side of the community and the player base is just like, yo, something's wrong here. And the other side of it is just like, oh, no, nope, nope, nothing wrong. Like, you're fucking blind idiots, okay? And you need, this is the thing that I need you to understand. Get perspective. I went and picked up a Pokemon deck. And I'm not going to lie, I played in the tournament. I learned the game in one day, played in a tournament, out of 18 people, I took third. Okay? I had a fun time. I talked to the player base, I asked them what's their gripes with the game. You know what they told me? My gripes with the game is I wish that, uh... The world's events and everything were always closer. And, now, like, I wish I could afford to go to more events. Sorry. This is the way they were trying to say it. I wish I could afford to go to more events. So what did I do? I mean, in my career, I've learned that when you want to see the whole case for a thing, you got to dive into it. So I started watching Pokemon streams, I started watching Pokemon tournaments and Invitationals and Nets, and I watched previous year's Worlds, and I watched uh, people talk about the game on YouTube, I watched people do deck profiles, I watched people play, I watched people um, talk about like what they think the meta is and everything, like podcasts, like right now I'm listening to a Lorcana podcast. Um, because I'm diving into that game. Um, I paid attention. And, <laughs> what's funny to me is that, like, this shit is so much more just laid out. And the player gripe is nothing like Konami and, and Yu-Gi-Oh's TCG. Um, players will get upset at judge calls, things like that nature, but nobody is sitting here judging Niantic or the Pokemon company or anything. Nobody's mad at it. Um, and it's just kind of funny to me. And then uh, a buddy of mine locally created a Lorcana TCG group, and I jumped in. Um, I went and got a structure deck, in a few packs and busted it out and I'm learning Lorcana now. Um tell me why Lorcana motherfuckers. Um tell me why Lorcana straight out the gate has every card in a common and a hollow. Konami. So, proof to you that I haven't given up Yu Gi Oh! Here's my Infernoble deck. It's still here. I still fuck around. 
haven't given up completely, and I know I'm going off the deep end here with my rant and rave, but I want to prove a point. So, um, oh Lord, where did I put it? Sorry, excuse me. So, Gorkana has this, okay? They have Mickey Mouse, first card ever made, non hollow, for four bucks. Or, little. ECG players. I pulled a sweet Arcanine the other day. Um, geez, where did I put it? It's hard for me to make the point if the point's not here. Anyway, I have a whole stack of Lorcana trades somewhere. Hmm. Anyway. I had a whole stack of work on trades. Well, I knew it. Sorry, guys, but... Okay, I had a whole stack anyway, but you could get Mickey Mouse, okay? For... Oh, I really wanted to show that to you. You could get Mickey Mouse for five bucks. Or, you could get Mickey Mouse Hollow for 65 bucks. I bought one of each because I wanted my nice things. Um, in Pokemon, you can get I guess we can call them Gold Secret Rares if you want to. This is my old Mew deck. But you can get this card, Path to the Peak, common for 4 cents. Or at the time, when this deck was the main thing and shit, you could get the secret rare for like 40 bucks. It's your choice. How much do you want to bling it up, right? Um, how come they were able to do that at the gate and Konami, 25 years later, hasn't figured that out? Like, what... What is going through your mind there, right? Like, why? So, <clears throat> for me, it's all kind of mind-boggling right now. Like, right now, I'm finding myself sitting here going, what is wrong and where? And, sadly, what is wrong is that everything is wrong. Um... Everything that can go wrong is going wrong in this game. And I just don't...
I don't know if I see it getting any better. Um, and I really want your guys' take on that. I, that's my big thing to you guys tonight, is I want your opinion on is this shit going to get better? Or is this shit just going to continue to fucking downslide, dude? Like, is it just going to suck more and more down the road, right? Um, Because it does, man. It, it super sucks right now. And I don't see a way in which it will get better. Sorry I'm digging so much for these. It's just... I had a whole trade list of... Rares and shit. And Morikana. Because I was trying to trade into more expensive shit. And I can't find my Morikana ships. I don't know where I put it. Uh oh. That's no good. <laughs> I'll have to go looking for it. Now. Anyway... If I find it, I'll post it on my community so you guys can see the picture. But, um, for me, it's just not getting any better. It's not shaping up at all. It's not, it's just not moving. Oh, wait. Holy shit. There it is. Okay. You could get your hollow version of Mickey for 60, 65 bucks. Um, it, it's just kind of crazy to me how that all works out, right? Like, why are we letting it work out that way? Um, I'm going to keep this pile of rares over here. Why are we letting that happen, you know? And in what world is that okay as a, as a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, even? Um... Why am I even remotely cool with it? Because I'm not. And the answer is I'm not. Um, those are the first format problems that I see right there. Every card is accessible, easy to find, cheap. Or even the higher end cards, okay? I could get a... So I bought four Robin Hood Champion of Sherwood for 38 bucks each. The foil copies cost like $44 each. But I just wanted them. So they purposely do that. The expensive cards are only a little bit more expensive to get rare. But the cheaper shit, you can get. I could foil out this whole deck if I wanted to. This whole starter deck, I could foil it out for probably. I don't know. I paid 15 bucks for this this starter deck. I could probably spend 30 and get every card foil. Like. You yeah. You do it for the OCG. They don't pay for your fucking game. We pay for the eighty dollar secret rares. It's bullshit. So the least you could fucking do if we are doing that for you is make the game enjoyable if we're spending all that money. If we're spending a thousand bucks on your stupid fucking snake eye deck, make the game fun to play. This shit's not fun. I haven't played, I haven't sat down to play a tournament since the weekend before the ban list. I'm going on two months in ten days here. Haven't played a single match. Shit sucks. You know? I've played more Pokemon in the past two months than I have Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, definitely gonna find no locals to play fucking... Uh... Lorcana at for sure going to find a local supply there. Like, come on, man. You know? So, the second thing is that Pokemon gets a rotation. You know what shit you have for the next three years. What? So, you know when that shit's going out the door? Yeah, it's fun, it's comfortable. I don't have to panic and worry about a Monday morning ban list. Hmm. And then, 
There's the question that everybody is talking about. Provide support. I am a locals player, so provide support means nothing to me. However, to hear that this game only gives out a Nintendo Switch and then a card and a little $14 Amazon trophy... Pokemon gives out cash, and you don't even want to know what Lord Kana does for you. The winner of their YCS got an entire foiled out set in a binder, on top of a case, on top of a whole stack of cards. I think they got a playmat worth upwards of 3000 a card worth like, I don't know, a few hundred. Like, to be real, and this is a conversation we're going to be having soon, uh, Lorcana may just bottom out every other TCG. The only TCG that I see would give a fuck less about is maybe Pokemon. But, uh, it's not looking good. Because people are comparing this game to that now. And rightfully so. We've had this TCG for 25 years, and Morcana has been, what, a year? And look at the prizing support they just gave out. Um, Konami, you're a multi-billion dollar company. You have no excuse. You have none. So, um... I told my buddies, and I'm going to shoot straight, like, shit needs to change. If I'm ever going to sit down for a tournament again, shit needs to change. And I, the, the only thing I hope is that you, the player base, and I said this in our Facebook comment, is you guys need to come together. If you come together and you formulate a group and you're vocal and you all stand together and say this, we're not playing your expensive shit, fix the fucking game, shit will get fixed. If you don't, you can't just threaten to leave. You gotta go and pick up another TCG and go support that TCG. Because support the shit that's gonna support you. If that's what you're in for. for. If you're in for Yu-Gi-Oh! because you like Yu-Gi-Oh! Go get it, man. I'm here because I I love Yu-Gi-Oh! for the fact that I got to play Sword Soul and had fun with my friends at a local's table and Baron turned into my favorite card. And I'm still salty and I'm going to be salty for however long it stays on the list because it turned into my favorite card. And they fucking killed it. So I'm bitter and I'm salty. And then I hear the player base come out and start talking about all the other bullshit that happens with this game. And the fact that, yeah, we're the only TCG that's sitting here going, damn, I wonder if tomorrow we're going to wake up to a van list. That's bullshit, man. Why, why do I gotta... You, you, as much as you want to say, oh, just be budget. Just go pick up a structure deck and play. You can't have fun with fucking structure decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! You, you can't fucking do that you can do it in Lorcana because you're it's new I could go take my $15 structure deck and go fucking play attorney tomorrow and if I was skilled enough with it I could win you can't do that with Yu-Gi-Oh because you go pick up a structure deck and you don't have any ashes or imperms you're fucked <laughs> like you're fucked so it, it's just I know I've been uh, doom talking for the past 45 minutes or whatever, but I just want you, the player base, to see this and say, hey, damn, we're all kind of feeling this. Even if you're trying to be outspoken and just say their shit don't stink and blah, 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 like, we all know right now this is bullshit. Even you dick riders. 
Especially you dick riders, you guys know for a fact this is bullshit. Because what do we have to compare it to except for other TCGs? What am I supposed to compare this to, a video game? Am I supposed to compare this to a board game? No, I compare it to the other thing in its market. Lorcana. Pokemon. Magic the Gathering. Forever it's been known as Magic, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! And, uh, Lorcana is coming, coming in hot. I don't know who it's going to take out first, but it's... I have a feeling that in the next five years, it's going to be something, something Lorcana. So, what that Ottoman now is, I don't know. Um, what I can tell you right now is that the least happiest player base is Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, by far. So, we'll see. But, that'll be it for me tonight, guys. I'm sorry I've been such a downer. I'm sorry this video is nothing, like, positive or anything. Um, but there's really just nothing positive to talk about until this weekend. And, uh, it's discouraging. Um, here's what I, I'm gonna tell you guys. Because I didn't know if I wanted to talk about it on my channel. Um, but I will. And I'm gonna talk about it more in June. Um, I'm gonna give it until Infinite Forbidden. Uh, if shit's not changed by their next set in a month, and Nationals is this, and Worlds is this, I'm probably checking out. About 90% sure I'll be checking out. Um, and checking out means that I'm gonna keep a Sword Soul deck, core, and sell everything else off. And I'm gonna focus on a different TCG. So, I know I'm a little channel, and I know a lot of you stick around for the Sword Soul content. And I've appreciated you this whole time. If this video makes you guys leave, my apologies. Uh, but, um, the way the game is right now, it's just not fun for me at all, and it's just not interesting. So, and I've heard a lot of bigger YouTube, YouTubers talk about it. It's okay to walk away for a while. Take a break. You know? Like, yu gi is not going anywhere. Hopefully. yu gi is not going anywhere. Um, I know it's checking out of Europe, but I don't know what their plan is with the North America at that point. Um... But there are no bad feelings for me checking out Yu-Gi-Oh. So, um, for them it's just business. For me it's all about what am I going to have fun at. Because as a content creator, I need to have fun when I'm doing this shit. And when I'm doing deck profiles and everything, and I'm like, this is what you play, and this is how all the pro players build it and everything, and I just find myself sitting there like, oh my god. I could care less about what's happening in this format. Like, it sucks. It sucks. So, um... Yeah. I'm gonna give it till Infinite. If Ice Barriers is, like, as good as my buddies are telling me and that I'll be interested in it, or, uh, Ice Barrier Sword Soul, like, one of my buddies is promising me they're gonna cook up a list and I'm gonna fall in love with it and play that shit for the rest of the time. So, if that happens... Bam. You're going to see True Knight doing more Sword Soul shirt, but not going to lie, I'm not going to continue investing in a game that could give a shit less about its game quality. So um, That'll be it for me tonight. I appreciate you guys watching if you watched all the way through. If not, I understand it's a long video. I ranted and raved. It's just is what it is, but um, if you're interested at all in Lord Connor or Pokemon, I'll be doing a few deck profiles. I'm going to do a uh, my favorite Pokemon deck of all time profile. Um, I've had the deck forever, but I went and picked up like more secret rare versions of it and everything. So I'm gonna wait until those come in, and then I'm gonna do that deck profile. Um, and then I'm also gonna be doing Lorcana shit. Um, it's starting to pick up in Colorado a lot more. Stores are doing it in tournaments, and then my locals said that by set five they plan to invest in it and run promo tournaments there and everything, so I'm really excited for that. Um, 
So hopefully by like August, it becomes a Yugi slash Lorcana store. Now I just need to find that Pokemon store, which I found a Pokemon store literally five minutes away from me is where I went to that 18-man tournament. And they fire them off every Saturday. So hopefully, God willing, my interview goes through tomorrow, I get hired, and I get weekends off again. And I no longer have Sunday, Monday off. I'll have Saturday, Sunday. So I'll be able to go and do shit. So, um, Anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Uh, don't I'm not quitting right now. I'm not checked out. In June, you're going to see a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh! content. But just please... Um, my hope from this is that you guys just fucking come together. And if you don't like shit, raise hell, man. And I'm talking, you gotta be in their comments... You gotta be writing them letters, you gotta be writing them emails, you gotta be calling the company, like, this shit sucks. Fix it. And you gotta come together as a community, because that's the only way that they're gonna see. As long as we're quiet and just shilling out money, and shutting up, they think they're fine. So if you want shit changed, you gotta demand shit be changed. It's that, it's, that's not just this game, it's life. So, anyway guys, appreciate you watching, be kind, be respectful, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!